Rogers bringing the ball back there. And the tackle by number 40, Jeff Lovell for the Stormbringers. The ball taken up the middle there for the Rebels. It'll be second down and six. Rebels get first and ten for the Rebels. And the ball is fumbled. Ten in a quarterback, number 17, Todd Aragon. And the ball almost intercepted there by Chris Cole for the Rebels. Once again, if the Chris Cole had caught that cleanly, then the Rebels would have been back in possession on the 34-yard line of the Rockingham Rebels. Second down and 10 yards still to go. Now you can see on the pitch are the yellow flags thrown by the officials. Now this means that something has been done. And once again throwing the football is in turn receiver number 89 Gary Morgan and the pass once more ruled incomplete so uh, the Storm Ringers have forced the turnover already let's see what the Rebels can do third and 15 Once again, the ball almost for them is the kicker, Matthew Beebe. <laughs> On the 30-yard line, Warren Lee, first and ten. That's number 27 carrying the football for the Rebels, Marco Navago. However, there is a flag down on the play and 15 yards to go. A good run around the right hand there for the Rockingham Rebels. A gain of oh, about 10, 15, 10 yards for number 27, Marco Navago. Good solid tackle coming in there by number 53, Leon Bunker. The ball carrier, Trevor Sinclair, being stopped in his tracks. Perhaps a gain of a yard there, which will bring up third down and four. Make it a long four. That's number 32, Howard Tate taking the pass completion and that brings up a first down for the Rockingham Rebels. Warren Lee's Rebels. So number 51, Mark Bowden on the tackle.
number 23, Troy Myers, carrying the ball for the Rebels, gaining some yardage before he stopped by Patrick Darien. So, going up the middle to gain that yard and a little bit more is number 32, Howard Tate. And it's another first down for the Rockingham Rebels. Trevor Sinclair carrying the ball around the end and it looks like another first down for the Rebels. Domringer's 20 yard line, first and 10 Rebels. <laughs> 94, Charlie Neal there, taking the tackle and did he in fact take the ball? We wait to see what the referee signals. Drive with second and five. Fifty-three, Leon Bunker on the tackle there, but there are flags down on the play. Flags on the play there. The ball carrier for the Rebels, number twenty-three, Troy Myers. So the first quarterback sack of the afternoon by number twenty, Derek Darian. Number 27 there for the Rebels, Marco Navago. Major number 95, Philip Crook. <laughs> so the ball fumble there between number 23, Troy Myers, and number 37, Warren Lee. And he brings up a fourth down for them. Number 47, that's John Flynn. Warren Lee holding. <laughs> the flag down on that play, right at the end of the play. The field goal attempt being blocked. The field goal, should it have counted, would have been uh, three points for the Rebels. However, it's been blocked, but we wait and see what the officials call. <laughs> so that's number 56 for the Rockingham Rebels. That's Jim Rose on the tackle and the ball carrier for the Stormbringers, the diminutive Bruce Whitehead. A loss of one yard on the play, it'll be second down and 11. So the ball handed to number 34, Bruce Whitehead, but there's one or two flags down on the play. in his own end zone. That means that the Rockingham Rebels have scored two points for a safety. <laughs> so the ball's going out of bounds there and the flag's been thrown on it. First down and ten yards to go for the Rockingham Rebels. The 
ball carrier there, Howard Tate for the Rebels. He's brought down by number 53, Leon Bunker, and Philip Crook for the Stormbringers. Big gain though on the play, a gain of eight yards for the Rebels. It'll be second down and two. And that looks like number 37, uh, 27, sorry, has gone through there for the necessary yardage to claim a first down. That's number 27, Marco Navago. So John Hunter is the runner that time and he meets number 53 Leon Bunker and 51 Mark Bowden. So the tag was there, Pat Darian and Phil Crook. So a useful fake handoff there by Warren Lee to Marco Nevago and it gains three more yards for the Rebels. He'll bring down third down and two. And it was Philip Crook on the tackle for the Stormbringers. It's number 27, Marco Nevago carrying the ball again. Just needing two yards. It looks like he's got one of them. Oh. Number 27, Marco Navago carrying the ball. We wait to see if he's got enough for that first down. And it is a first down to the Rockingham Rebels. Just enough. First down and ten for the Rebels. Number 21, Trevor Sinclair, dancing his way up the end zone, but he's taken down by number 60, Mark Gayton, for the Stormbringers. So a big charge up the middle there for the Storm River, for the Rebels. Number 23 with the ball, that's Troy Myers. There's a tangle of arms and legs. Matt Gayton there once more, and number 52, Mick Crook. So the ball handed off there by quarterback Warren Lee. number 32, Howard Tate carrying the ball. It's tackled by Clive Darian and Mick Crook for the Stormbringers. So the ball fumbled there somewhere between the centre and the quarterback and it looks like Warren Lee recovered the fumble. So, Warren Lee going to the air there, a perfect pass on the numbers, it's juggled by number 86, that's Rich Hollins, and eventually drops the pass rule incomplete. Holding Warren Lee. And that was blocked by number 94, Charlie Neal of the North Ant Stormbringers. So there's no points there for the Rockingham Rebels. They still lead by two. And the North Ant Stormbringers will start with the ball on their own 15, 20 yard lines. The Stormbringers starting on their own 20, 
First down and ten. So we have flags on the players. Bruce Weishead brings the ball out. Can I ask Dale, please? Dale to do a PA test. Uh, a few flags going down there. Number 44, Pat Knowles carrying the ball, but going nowhere, he's jumped on by two Rebels players, number 93 and 56. to number 88, Keith Fifield, but there's a flag down on the play. Bringers. Number 33, Chris Cole, this time coming up with the interception. And he's taken down by number 89 for the Stormbringers, Gary Morgan, 43. <laughs> 51, Mark Bowden on the tackle there. The ball carrier is Howard Tate, and he's got back to the line of scrimmage, so no gain on the play. It'll be second down and 10 yards to go. So the option pass there is stopped by number 51, Mark Bowden, but there's a flag once more on the floor. So Leon Bunker breaking up that passing play there. It'll be second down and ten. So the pass from number 37, Warren Lee, finds his intended receiver. It's number 25 uh, for the Stormbringers, Lionel Taylor on the stop, and the Rebels player down injured, I believe it's number 27, Marco Navargo. And there's lots and lots of flags down there on the plane. <laughs> we wait to see what Mr. Sala calls to snap the ball. The Rebels so far moving quickly. <laughs> That's Lionel Taylor, number 25, with the interception. Gets down on the ball and gives the ball to Troy Myers. However, the Stormbringers come up with a football and from their own 14. So, Bruce Whitehead uh, carrying the ball, number 34, he finds a gap. Goes up the gap and he's tackled by number 50, Richard Moses for the Rebels. The ball, second down and 11, Stormbringers. Oh. 
So the intended receiver, number 30, Tony Belfon, and breaking up the play, number 23, Tony Myers for the Rebels. Putting his head into the tackle and gaining the extra yard. To gain on the play there of about six yards for the Stormbringers. And with the continuation of the second quarter of today's game, it's fourth down and five Stormbringers. Two flags on the play. Warren Lee originally catching the ball, it's spilt over and Well, um, that's not the type of thing we want we wish to see. Hopefully the injury has not caused that. Let's keep the game as hard and as clean as we can, guys, please. We've got a reputation to protect here. The punt from Matthew BB Travelling quite a long way up the field, however, there's a flag at this end of the field and a flag down back at the line of scrimmage. So, Warren Lee, 37, getting the ball away just before he's tackled by Mark Bowden. And it's a loss on the play of about one yard. And the news on Troy Myers is that he has a compression of the spine. So we do hope that he's all right. As I say, we'll let you know as soon as we know. We believe he does have feeling, but he's gone to the hospital as a precaution. Second and 11, Rebels. Again, of a few yards there, Warren Lee, the ball carrier. He's taken down by number 54 for the Storm Ringers. That's Simon Phillips. Again, a three yards. So, Warren Lee, the ball carrier again. It's handed to him by the new quarterback, number 49, Jeff Crabb. And the gain of one yard on the play. It brings up fourth down and six. Fourth down and six for the Rockingham Rebels. It's a punt with number 47, John Flynn. So that's Tony Belfon, number 30, falling on the ball for the Stormringers. A good kick there by the Rebels. It'll push the Stormringers back onto about their own three-yard line. So the ball rushed there by number... Four. It's Bruce Whitehead, who's stopped by the Rockingham Rebels. A gain of eight yards on the play. Second down and two for the Stormbringers. So, Bruce Whitehead following lead blocker Pat Knowles. Has he got the necessary yardage for a first down? First down, the first of the day to the North End Stormbringers. So, Flags down again.
You'll probably notice the difference between the American guys. Second and 15, Stormbringers. Number 88 there, Keith Fifield, the intended receiver, nearly intercepted once again by number 33, Chris Cole. So far has come up with one interception and has very, been very, very near to another four. For Bruce Whitehead, he's brought down by 49 for the Rebels. That's Jeff Crabb. Gain on the play of down and five Stormbringers. So Bruce Whitehead with the ball there and he's got no gain on the play. So he brings up fourth down and the punting team. Come on, come on. The ball is stopped for a 43 yard kick but there's a flag on the play. Flag on the play back at the line of scrimmage. 43 yard kick for Matthew Beebe. So that's 53, Leon Bunker bringing the run of Marco Navargo to an end, but not before he's gained two yards for the Rebels. A little pass over the centre there, the receiver is number 86. That's Rich Hollins. A good fake handoff there by the quarterback, a gain of 15 yards. The ball being driven up the middle there, a gain of about 5 yards once more for the Rockingham Rebels. Doing the carry in that time I believe was number 32, Howard Tate. So, number 52 there for the Stormbringers, that's Mick Crook stopping Trevor Sinclair before he can get going. Number 51, Mark Bowden, straight through the line there. It looks like a loss of about seven yards on the play. The ball carrier there for the Rockingham Rebels, Marco Navargo. It's a punt for the Rebels. Flags down on the play, the play is whistled dead. And still John Flynn to kick for the Rebels. Roll goes out of bounds and there's a flag thrown on the play. <laughs> so number 69 for the Rebels going straight through the line there. That's Rod Muggleton with the first sack from the Stormringers quarterback.
That's number 33, Chris Cole once more on the interception. That's two interceptions from Chris Cole today. Another four near misses. I think this is an official timeout. One of the officials coming to talk. First and ten, Rebels. Number 37, Warren Lee taking the ball and gaining about five yards. 53, Leon Bunker in on the tackle. And for them for the Rockingham Rebels in the final two minutes of the first half. There's flags down on the play there, number 61 for the Storm Rangers. The first man there, that's John Orris. We once again wait to see what the officials have got to say. Bringers 42 yard line. It's number 32 for the Rebels carrying the ball. Howard Tate, he runs into one of his own blockers and he gains 12 yards. It's another first down and 10. For the Rockingham Rebels. Rebels on a drive. It's number 32, Howard Tate. Meeting number 53, Leon Bunker, with number 25. John Flynn to kick off for the Rebels. And the ball goes right the way through the end zone. That will mean a touchback and the Storm Ringers will start with the ball at their own 20 yard line. Ringers zero and the Storm Ringers with first and ten. Stormbringers. Come on, Stormbringers! So, in one play, the Stormbringers have gone further this half than they did in the last one. 30 yard line of the Rockingham Rebels. Stormbringers on a drive. Second down and 10 yards to go. Tony Belfort being given the ball in the backfield and a flag's been thrown on the play. Tony Belfort getting back to about the line of scrimmage. Come on, Tony Belfon on the carry, he's tackled by number 56 Jim Rose and a gain of four yards on the play. It'll be second down and six for the Storm Ringer. Tony Belfon once more carrying the ball for the Storm Ringers. He's stopped by a host of Rebels there. It's another gain on the play for the Stormbringers. And you see the Rebels fans getting behind their team on the far side of the pitch. And the Stormbringers fans hopefully getting behind their team on this side of the pitch. A gain of two yards. It brings up third down and four for the Stormbringers. The Stormbringers now on the Rockingham Rebels 11-yard line.
Pass there, intended receiver Lionel Taylor, incomplete, but there's a flag being thrown on the play. And it brings up a first down for the North and Stormringers. The idea is that you get excited when we get a first down. The ball's now spotted on the six yard line. So it's first and goal for the Stormringers. Number 30, Tony Belfarm being tackled there on the line of scrimmage by the Rebels. Dives forward. Number 49 for the Rebels, Jeff Crabb on the tackle, the ball carrier once more for the Stormbringers. Number 30, Tony Belfon. So, Todd Aragon carrying the ball there, his receivers were covered, he carries the ball and it looks like a gain of about a yard on the play. Rockingham Rebels 2, the North and Stormringers 3. <laughs> Number 15, Keith Paradise. <laughs> Number 37, Warren Lee returning the ball. He's tackled by number 52 for the Stormringers, Mick Crook. So it looks like the ball will be spotted on about the 20. <laughs> First down and 10, Rockingham Rebels from their own 21. Number 27, the ball carrier, Marco Navago, and he's stopped by number 52. That's Mick Crook for the North Ant Stormringers. And through there for the Stormringers, number 52, it's Mick Crook. On number 27, Marco Navago for the Rebels. It's number 21 carrying the ball there for the Rockingham Rebels. That's Trevor Sinclair. And he has gained a first down for the Rockingham Rebels. So, number 51, Mark Bowden in there, stopping that play. I'm afraid I couldn't see which Rebel had the ball. As a second down and ten, Rebels. So, that run coming to an end, a gain of about six yards there for the Rebels, a big gain up the middle, Mark Bowden, one of the first ones on the play. So a big gain there for the Rockingham Rebels, number 16, John Hunter. He's tackled by Mark Bowden and two other Storm Ringers there. Down and ten. Yeah. 
So another couple of yards gained up the middle there by the Rockingham Rebels. The ball carrier number 32, Howard Tate. Number 32 carrying the ball, Howard Tate once more as the Rebels go up the middle and he's hit by Posse of Stormringers there, Mark Bowden and number 95, Philip Crooks in on the tackle. There's a flag down on the play as Warren Lee goes up the middle Gets the necessary yardage for a first down, but there is a flag on the play. It's gone remarkably quiet round the ground. Let's try and get behind our teams and get them going. Third down and six, Rockingham Rebels. the quarterback keeping the ball there and he's taken down by number 85 Dave Parker it looks like they're going to attempt a field goal number 47 John Flynn on to kick for Rockingham Rebels And the field goal attempt bounces in the end zone, but he bounces short of the post. The kick is no good, and the score remains North Ant Stormringers 3, the Rockingham Rebels 2. It's Tony Belfon carrying the ball for a one or two yard game for the Stormringers. Two yards gained there by number 30, Tony Belfon. Yes. Tony Belfon taking the late pitch out from quarterback Todd Aragon and gaining a few more yards. Can I once again ask people to stay behind the white metal barrier if you are not registered with number four? So, number 44, Pat Knowles fumbling the football there. It's pounced on by number 58 of the Rockingham Rebels, Alan Bross. First and ten, Rebels. Number 51, Mark Bowden. But there's a flag on the play. Mark Bowden, the tackler. The number 27 for the Rebels for holding. It's first and ten Rebels from the Stormringers, 15. And number 32 looks to have fumbled the football. We wait to see what the officials give. Number 52 from the Stormringers comes up with the ball. There's a rebel lion injured on the floor and there's also a flag on the floor. Go on, Stormringers, get them on! First and ten, Stormringers. Todd Aaron keeping the ball there, following his offensive line. And it's a big game there for the Stormbringers. About a five yard game, Todd Aragon following through there with the ball. He's brought down by number 58, Alan Ross. The same play, it's uh, Todd Aragon carrying the ball through. The ball is grabbed off him by, it looks like, number 37, Warren Lee. Tony Belfon carrying the ball for the Stormringers and it looks good enough for a first down for the Stormringers. 
The tackle by number 56, Jim Rose. So, flags down on the play, and we wait to see what the officials call on that one. Tony Belfon there doing a ball juggling act and he's finally having hurdled a couple of rebels brought to the floor and whether or not he made any ground on that play we wait to see very very close we hope to see you back here again at the Dog and Duck for the Stone Ringers next home match but don't go away there's a lot left today second and three Pat Knowles carrying the ball there. It's a gain of about five yards on the play, and it brings up a first down for the North Ant Storm Ringers. And number 58. First and ten, Storm Ringers. That's number 33 once more, Chris Cole, nearly on an interception. I think he was put up there by his own player, Jason Smith. That's Tony Belfon carrying the ball for a couple of yards there and he's stopped by number... 58 of the Rebels, that's Alan Bross. That's Tony Belfon rolling around a couple of challenges there. He gains quite a bit on the play, number 58 once more in there, that's Alan Bross for the Rebels. It's a gain of about five yards as they move in between the rows. The gentleman with the box, his name is Melv. I'll give you his phone number later, but don't tell his wife. That's Matthew Beebe with the punt. And a good run back there by number 33, Chris Coles. And there's a flag being thrown on the play. Helmet, it's first down on the 41 yard line for the Rockingham Rebels. The ball is handed on there, a gain of about five yards for the Rebels. And I'd just like to say our cheerleaders are doing a grand job down there, but I'm getting much response from the people in the crowd. It's number 16 carrying the ball for the Rebels, John Hunter, getting enough for a first down. The tackle from number 40, Jeff Lovell. Number 52, Mickey Crooks, reading that play beautifully there for the Storm Ringers. The ball carrier was 27, Marco Navango. the Rockingham Rebels. Warren Lee goes to the air and finds number 86 for the Rebels. That's 
Rich Hollins. And the ball has gone down to the Stone Ringers 10, 12 yard line. Warren Lee there, forced to go to the air. First and 10, first and goal. 32 carrying the ball there for the Rebels. Howard Tate, another Rebel line down injured. Tony Belfort on the tackle there for the Storm Ringers, knocking number 21 Trevor Sinclair out of bounds, but there's a flag down on the play. Touchdown Rockingham Rebels, number 32, Howard Tate. Now the Rockingham Rebels have two choices. They can either score one point with a kick or two points for a pass or running play. Looks like they're going for the kick. The kick is good. So the ball passes straight through the ball. It's first and ten, the Stormbringers. Number 44, Pat Knowles carrying the ball there for about a six yard game for the Storm Ringers. The ball carried forward there by Todd Arrigan. It should be enough for a first down. Richard Moses in there for the Storm Ringers. You don't know, you can't read. Here we go then, first down and ten. Tony Belfort with the carry, getting a couple of yards for the Storm Ringers. Getting in the back. Tony Belfont with the ball, but there's a flag down on the play over on the far side. The tackler for the Rebels, number 56. So, Son Aragon is taken to the ground there by the Rebels, number 19. Kevin Dillon, number 69, making the crucial tackle there. Number 33, Chris Cole, returning the ball. But there are flags on the play. <laughs> 38 yard interception return there for number 33, Chris Cole. And we have the winners of the Money Concepts draw. If you could collect your prizes from the Money Concepts tent, we'll just wait for Mr. Sala. We have Hillary on the blue team, legal use of the hands on the white team. We will replay the down. So, one tackle either way. The Storm Rangers are let off the hook there. It's now still third down and 25 yards to go. The winners of the Money Concepts draw. First is Jay Mallard of Upper Queen's Money Concept winners. Jay Mallard, G. Mason, S. Finney and C. Hoadland. Please go to the Money Concepts tent for your prizes.
Anton Aragon carrying the ball for the Storm Ringers. A gain of a few yards there. So a 44-yard punt there from Matthew Beebe sees the Rockingham Rebels take over the football on their own 23-yard line. So having evaded Leon Bunker, he doesn't evade number 61, John Orres. That's number 27, Marco Navargo. So tackle there from the Stormringers, number 52, Mick Crooks on number 16, John Hunter. Number 52, Mick Crooks on the tackle again. A gain of a few yards once more for... Karen. Flags down on the play once more. Number 25, Lionel Taylor with the ball, however there is a flag, a flag on the field back at the line of scrimmage. So 69, Kev Dillon in on the tackle, on number 27, Marco Navaga. So the Rebels attempt to go up the middle, it's Kevin Dillon there once again for the Storm Ringers, stopping number 32, Howard Tate. Yeah! Number 37, Warren Lee carrying the ball and that's good enough for another first down for the Rockingham Rebels. Uh, fumble there for the Rockingham Rebels, and it looks like they've regained their own fumble. The ball now on the halfway line. On the... That's almost enough yardage for a first down. They'll probably be about two or three yards short. So, numbers 52, Mick Crook, and 27, Patrick Darien there on the tackle. Warren Lee, the ball carrier. It's a loss of three yards on the play. It brings up second down and 13. So, the gain of about five yards there for the Rockingham Rebels. It should bring up a third down and about... Six or seven yards to go as they untangle the knot of players there. He's into the end zone, but there's a flag down on the play. Number 16, John Hunter taking the ball. So, number 16 there, Howard Tate, is taken down by number 47, A.D. Chance. We'll have to score twice. So, a very important field goal here for the Rockingham Rebels. Be 
The field goal goes wide. They trail by six points. There are two minutes left on the clock. What a load of with shit. An interception going a long way back. On offense. Come on, Todd. Ah. The ball is incomplete. Four yard line. Coming off number 66, <laughs> number 33, Chris Cole batting the ball away. Intended receiver number 25, Lionel Taylor, but there's a flag on the play. Forget that. Fourth down for the Stormbringers. Good run there by Todd Aragon. Goes into touch, stops the clock and brings up fourth down. Come on. Come on, Todd. Go for it, Todd. So, Todd Aragon not getting enough for a first down there. Final comment. Not enough. And Encouragement on the sidelines and too many penalties. For the MVP